<coughs> welcome to the second part of uh, ups series video so in this video we are going to see or we are going to discuss about double conversion ups let us get into the topic so this online ups we have a three different type one is a line interactive type of ups then we have double conversion ups as well as delta conversion ups so in this video we are going to see about online ups which is of line interactive and double conversion type so i represent here your simple block diagram which is very much similar to that of the block diagram which i shown you for the offline ups the only difference here we have two different two static switches before the static switch here was on it was normally on and the static switch here it was off now the condition of these two static switch is going to be different normally this static switch is going to be on so that means whatever power coming from the utility or through the battery power it will go to the ups components so the system is not going to be in stand standby it is online with the load and supply and during the power failure during the power failure then the battery is going to feed the load through the inverter as well so at any time the load is having contact with the ups components and only during the maintenance or for, for any other purpose we are going to actuate this uh, static switch so the power will be fed through the static switch bypass and it will be going to the load so that's why it is called as online ups so apart from that the components are almost similar to the top things so now let us see line interactive ups so this line interactive ups as a yeah, transformer and we have a bidirectional converter which can convert ac to dc as well as dc to ac and of course we have a transfer switch and load so now how this line interactive ups functions when the utility power is there and the transfer switch is closed so the power is being transferred to the load in this way through the transformer and also a certain amount of power is given to the ac to dc converter and it goes to the battery to charge the battery so what is the role of this tap changing avr transformer during this mode so whatever the voltage fluctuations coming from the input since it is a tap changing volt, uh, transformer so the taps can be changed in accordance with the ac input either if it is high voltage so the tap can be reduced or if it is low voltage the tap can be increased so that the output voltage to the load will be maintained constant so this is one function so second function is it provides a proper isolation between the ac source and the load and the third one also it provides a filtering options okay so these are the three different uh, works the tap changing avr transformer is going to uh, do apart from that so this converters that is a ac to dc converter is always connected to the system so it is charging and the load is also getting connected with this so it is not in offline there is no static switch in between them it is not going to have any change over time so during the power failure so the power which is coming from here is going to be stopped and instantaneously the power will be fed from the battery in this direction so now the converter is going to act as a inverter and then it is going to feed the load so the change over time for this is going to be very very uh, less or you can say there is no change over time for this so it is since it is already connected so the battery to ac operation converter inverter is always connected to the ups of the system 
operating the inverter in reverse during so this all i have explained you so now we will see yeah so line interactive ups are commonly used to protect small quantity of important servers associated and associated networking equipments so this is the application and these are low cost small size device and it provides a sinusoidal output in both cases online and sorry uh, during the supply utility supply and the stored energy mode it provides high efficiency high reliability coupled with the ability to correct a low or high voltage conditions as i told you the taps can be changed so that the voltage can be make up for the load and this type of ups are mostly used in this power range 0.5 to 5 kilovolt ampere range so the iec standards for this type of uh, ups is given like this it is voltage independent irrespective of the input voltage variation the output voltage can be kept constant with the help of uh, transformer step uh, you know uh, we have a transformer there tap changing transformer and the second parameter output uh, waveform is going to be sinusoidal for both cases either it is in the utility power mode or it is in a stored energy mode both cases it is going to provide a sinusoidal output so yes yes and 3 1 so we have dynamic output performance so during uh, the change over time during a change over time it is going to have almost a 10 millisecond interruption and during uh, the changes in the load okay either applying or removal of a load that time the variations or the fluctuations is going to be not have any interruptions and it is going to have voltage settlement within 10 milliseconds so this is the meaning of it